Okay, so in this video now, I'm going to show you the UI interface for the print table. So I've turned the machine on. You can see now we've got this uh, Pacific print table touch screen. So I'll just zoom in on that a little bit. And so you can see what's going on there. So we've got preheat, move, home, print, extrude, fans, settings, and more. So we're just gonna go to the preheat for the moment. Uh, we're gonna set this, got one degree, five degree or 10 degree interval. So we're gonna set it at 10. It's set at 180 at the moment, currently 180, uh, seven degrees, 84, it's dropping. Extrude is selected, so we're gonna increase that to 220. Press that then for the heat bed, it's at 71. And we're just gonna set that up at 80. And we'll go back from that. Okay, just gonna now use the uh, home button and just home all accesses. And then I'm going to manually bring this back into viewpoint using the move. These are the wrong way round at the moment, so I've just got to get those swapped round. Um, but we'll go change that to 10 mil increments move the y-axis forward and move the x-axis in 10 mil increments so you can see that i'm just keep pushing it keeps moving it 10 mil okay so that's now brought the uh the head into place you can see there we've got the bl touch uh and the red lights on the bl touch just so go back and press the more button and this is my interface now to interact with the actual bl touch touch pro so I can reset the probe if it was flashing to show me there was any sort of error. But other than that, I'm gonna turn the probe on. You can see there the probe comes down. Or I can turn the probe off. And it shoots back up again. Okay, now that I've honed it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the probe on. I'm gonna press the auto level button. But before I do that, I'm just gonna zoom out so you can see what happens. Okay, so that's the auto leveling complete now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell it to go to the center of the bed. So you can see there now, I've put the probe into error mode. Um, so it's flashing on and off. So I can press the reset and that brings the probe back up out of the way. That is now with the auto tram, it is now set. Just gonna move the bed down 10 millimeters by pressing move Z. And what I am known to do now is select it to print. Now I have got some remnants of an old print still on the bed. So I'm just gonna quickly remove those off. that's that removed and I'm now going to tell it to print so go back print select the file I want it to print so I'm just scrolling through the files that I've got on here motor bracket print this file
Now I'm just going to move the camera down onto the Z axis just so you can actually see the Z rod rotating. I'll just zoom in a little bit there and hopefully I can get that mic to take this off the stand. Okay, so you can see there that the Z axis is moving. So that's it doing the auto tramming to ensure that the print is actually being printed flat. 